All right, so enough messing around. Now we need to hurry up and get to business. We're gonna have to find out if our plucker is gonna be able to handle these turkeys or not. If not, we'll be plucking them by hand. Woo. All right, let's go butcher a pig. Good morning friends and welcome back to the homestead. So today is the last day for the meat birds. This is our last full day because tomorrow is butcher day and we need to go ahead and get everything ready right now for tomorrow's processing. We have a lot of people coming, a lot of friends, a lot of family. So in preparation, last night hubby smoked a brisket and we're gonna have that tomorrow, some brisket tacos. He put two ribs on the smoker right now for lunch and dinner tonight. Man, it's gonna be a good day tomorrow. So we're gonna go down and check on the chickens, but real quick, we got some babies that are out here with mama and one of them is Miss Lady's baby. And she is the first one, he or she, we don't know what it is yet, is the first one that we've ever had from her. We thought we've had some in the past, but it came out, it was not hers. This one is definitely hers. Let me see if I can get a good video of her. So Miss Lady is a silver lace wine dot, and that is gonna be a silver lace wine dot cross with either the Bard Rock Rooster that we have, or Mr. Tut, which is a red laced wine dot. So, not sure which one it is, but then we've got some other Bard Rock babies that are running around, and they are crossed with Americanas. They've got the cute little cheeks. So they're Bard Rock cheeks. <laughs> At least that's what I'm gonna call them. And I know for sure we've at least got two females in that batch, possibly two males. But total, that mama is taking care of five babies right now. I'm actually gonna go run over and give some feed to the chickens real quick. They know we're out, and if they get too hungry, they are gonna get out of their netting. These ones, they are crazy. And the, the fence is on, because my oldest boy got shocked yesterday when they ran out and he was trying to put them away and he's getting shocked like crazy and they're just running through like nothing bionic chickens that's what these ones are all right so i guess i don't need to feed them if they were hungry they'd be charging the fence right now and they're just looking at me fat and happy so i'm gonna leave them be they'll get their last feed tonight then while we're over here looking at the chickens real quick i'm gonna show you my raspberries they are blooming I got a handful of raspberries already that I've eaten off of there but let me show you how awesome these raspberries are looking this is their second year I've got raspberries blackberries and blueberries the blue blackberries are not quite ready yet you can see the blooms on them and the, the fruit starting but they're not ripe but these raspberries delish delicious morning snacks when I'm out in the garden mm. So good, so, so good. Now let's go head down and check on the bees real quick. We're not gonna open it up today. We're just gonna check the activity on the outside and make sure everything is good, looking good over here. So right here in the orchard, these comfrey, they are getting insane. So I definitely need to come through here with my clippers and go ahead and cut some of these comfrey down. Take them to the pigs because they absolutely loved them and they're full of nutrients for them. So as I'm walking closer to the bees, I can hear the humming coming from these honeysuckles and also the hive that is right next to all the honeysuckle. All right, friends, so we are right behind the house and I wanted to give you a quick garden tour of the backyard garden. I've got a lot of things planted out here and I wanna show you how they're doing. So alongside of the fence here, I have got a bunch of tomatoes planted. I've got all different kinds of tomatoes planted alongside the fence and they'll grow up and I'm gonna go ahead and trellis them to the fence as they grow up. I've got sunflowers planted in between all of the tomatoes. So some beautiful sunflowers will be coming up. I've got three tomatillo plants 
which this is the first year that I've ever grown tomatillos, so I'm really excited to see how these do. I want some green salsa, guys. My friend Monica gave me some of hers, and I loved it. So I definitely want some tomatillos. My grapes, I've got three Concord grapes that are growing up, and they are doing fantastic. They're gonna also grow up this fence, and they'll trellis out across the fence, and I will just go ahead and attach them to the fence so that they stay up there and they don't fall down. Here I've got my onions that I got from the extension office and they're doing really well. I've got peas. I've got beautiful green leaves, but no peas. These ones have started flowering, so hopefully I'll get some peas on that. But there are no flowers on these big beautiful ones, so I don't know. Here I've got more onions and I topped these onions. I went ahead and cut the tops off, blended them up and I'm gonna turn those into pesto, but they've already got, grown back. So I don't know if I need to cut them again before I harvest. Let me know in the comments. This is my first time growing onions, so I'm not really sure what I should be doing at this point. I do need to go through and like open around the dirt, around the onions so they start bulbing out really big, but let me know. Then over here, my carrots are doing fantastic. I have pulled a couple of the carrots out and they're really starting to put some growth into the actual root of the carrot. I'm excited for those. And then here I have my beets and some more carrots, different variety carrots that are in this bed. And I noticed that the beets are also starting to bulb out and look really good. In the planters down here, I have got different dahlias that I got and I went ahead and put them in pots but I'm pretty sure at the end of this season, I'm gonna go ahead and transplant these into the ground so they can just flourish. Not sure where I'm gonna put them, whether it's gonna be here in the garden or somewhere out around the property. We will see. But for now, they're staying right here in these pots. So I am excited with how this garden is coming together. I've got cucumbers at the bottom of this, and I'm hoping that they will trellis up and that way I'll be able to pick them and it'll be just really beautiful when you walk in to the garden to see a bunch of cucumbers trellising on this arbor that we made here. All right, so enough messing around. Now we need to hurry up and get to business. Let's head down to the barn and start pulling out all of the stuff that we need for tomorrow's chicken processing. So we've got our ice machine and we have been trying to get enough ice, but because our freezers are completely full, we are now just sticking the ice into the ice chest that we'll be using tomorrow, and hopefully that will be enough ice. If not, hubby's gonna have to run to town to pick up more ice tomorrow for butcher day to keep our chickens nice and cold once we're done processing them. All right, friends, we're ready. I got my uncle here running from the camera. California slash Philippines right here. <laughs> we are ready for butcher day. We got everything set up, ready to go. We've got our kill cone. We've got the scalder. We've got three tables set up and we are ready. I've got the kids over there, they're gonna go, they're gonna be in charge of getting all the chickens for us and bringing them over. It's gonna be a fun day. We got a lot of people showing up, so a lot of hands, which means this is gonna be knocked out fast. And then on to lunch. I have a great lunch planned for everybody. We're gonna be having brisket tacos with beans, rice. It's gonna be amazing. I'm ready to get started. All right, I've got more showed up. Our neighbors showed up. This is Junior. He's always helped us in all of our chicken butchering. My friend Monica's here. <laughs> Her husband Randall, we are getting it done. We still have a few more people that are gonna show up, but we are already getting started. We've got three already done in the cone. We're just draining the blood and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. Like I said, we're going through it fast today. We're not wasting any time. 
and the boys are out here. They already got chickens. They're gonna keep going back and forth, back and forth, bringing us chickens all day long. grab a wing you grab a wing and all right friends so we are gonna go ahead and process our two turkeys they have been growing since January these are massive massive turkeys so we're gonna go ahead and process them right now while we're getting chickens finishing up with the chickens they're next oh we did it one turkey down we've got all of the chickens pretty much done they're all killed and we're just finishing up uh, gutting them and getting them ready for the freezer. But we're gonna have to find out if our plucker is gonna be able to handle these turkeys or not. If not, we'll be plucking them by hand. See, Uncle Jerry and my father-in-law, Willie, they were raised taking care of turkeys and doing all this stuff. So this is like childhood memories for them. Starting them young. <laughs> Mr. Walker here is enjoying his day. Yeah, hanging out with dad. Hi, Walker. Hey, hey. Are you having fun? Say hi mom, hey. I'm on TV. <laughs> Hanging out with dad, doing some chickens. Hubby's gotten it. We got quite the assembly line going on. I don't know if that's gonna fit in there. Woo! Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it here. Woo! That's a 20 pounder. Here we go, Willie. Yep. Ready? Wait, wait, you're, don't. You're, you've got no head. Stop it. Let's All put right. him on his on his breast. breast. Yes. Oh, pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> oh come on, yo. <laughs> wait, wait, don't break those wings. Oh, yeah. right, Go, nephew. No, that's all you. <laughs> go ahead, nephew. Well, the plucker did a pretty good job. It got most of the feathers off. I still need to go through and remove some of the feathers that are on this one, but it did a good job. A little bit of a comparison. Here we've got whoop, our little chicken next to this big turkey. All right, so we are all done with processing. Now I'm gonna head inside and get started on lunch for everybody. It's already made. I just need to warm everything up and get it plated up so that we can eat next because it is already 12 o'clock and I didn't eat breakfast. A lot of everybody didn't eat breakfast, so it's time to eat. Let's head inside and start making some lunch. All right, friends, so now that we are done with processing all these chickens, it is time to go head down and check on my bees. It has been a week. We've got them some more sugar water and I'm just gonna do a quick check and see how everything is going. So let's head on down to the orchard where we have our bees. I still can't believe I've got bees. I really can't believe it. <laughs> All right, so I'm fully suited up this time. Hopefully I will not get stung. I do have the smoker. I will be doing a little bit of that so they won't be too pissed off when I open it up. I am doing this by myself today, but I'm gonna record everything that's going on so that way I can talk to Robert a little bit later and let him know what I saw in the hive. Because it's very important when you're doing your hive inspections 
that you keep some kind of record of what you saw when you opened it up so that way next week I can look and see if anything's changed, if everything's the same, so on and so forth. Because I am brand new to this, I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> so I will be documenting all of what I see today here in the hive. I got it going. <laughs> That's a lot of smoke. This is one of the new ones, and they're already starting to build on it. So I'm seeing a lot of larvae in here, and they look like at all different stages. I do see a queen cup. I don't see anything inside of it, so Robert told me to smash those, so I'm going to go ahead and do that with this one. Alright, so I found the queen. She is down here in the right hand corner. So I, it's good to know that she is in here and she is active. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. All right, everything looked good. I saw the queen. I got to see the different stages of the larva. So she is doing her job and they had plenty of liquid still left in there. I went ahead and topped it off. And yeah, I think it's looking good. So I'll have to send that to Robert and see what he says, but I think everything's looking good for one week. All right, now that I've got those bees taken care of, I've got to get working on this garden. I have been everywhere the last two months from Tennessee to California and my garden has suffered. All I've got is tomatoes and peppers right now, which is good, but I needed to get my okra going, my green beans, I need to get squash in the ground. There's just so many things. My corn, I need to get everything in the ground. So I was actually gifted a whole bunch more of tomatoes and peppers when I came back from Tennessee. One of the neighbors up the hauler is moving and he just gave my father-in-law a whole tray of tomatoes and peppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant those. I've got this row with the weed fabric already ready. I just need to go ahead and put in some holes for it. And hubby got me a new tool that I get to use. This should be a lot easier than carrying around that big old propane tank. And I can make the holes the size that I want with this. So we're gonna give this a try right now. Well, hubby is down there with the thing, burning the ends of the weed fabric so they don't fray. And he's having a difficult time keeping it lit. Every time he bends it upside down to light it, it goes out. So that might actually be an issue. We might not be able to use that to burn holes into the weed fabric. And I might have to go get that big old propane tank again and carry that around. Darn it. Trying to do things a little bit easier. It's not working out. <laughs> All right, friends, so we got, let me let this wind go away. All right, friends, so we got all of our holes dug and I went ahead and put all of the tomatoes and pepper plants in there. Hubby is currently tilling up the rest of this and let's go see what Uncle Jerry's doing. What you working on over here, Uncle Jerry? Sweet corn. Sweet corn. I hope I'm doing it right. <laughs> well, Put we'll it in the ground, how right? Does, how long does it take? I don't know. Yeah, probably about three weeks before we see something pop up. Don't call me if they don't come up. Oh, we'll call them and make them come back. Redo it, right? <laughs> I had to go get more soil because I didn't I ran out of soil for these plants so I got some so let me go ahead and finish putting these peppers and these tomatoes into the ground all right so I was able to get all the rest of the tomatoes and peppers completely planted so these 
these six rows that you see behind me are all peppers and tomato plants. So I think I'll be good with tomato sauce this year. Fingers crossed that they all do really, really well and they produce really good for me. And then peppers, last year I did so good with peppers. Fingers crossed that they do just as well this year. Uncle is finishing up with the corn. Hubby had to take off to go find out if he needed to pull the ribs off the smoker and he took all my seeds with him. So I can't plant anymore. So I'll probably go over there and help uncle with all of the corn planting. I did a mistake. I was doing two feet apart. Uh -huh. I read the instructions on that one. So it didn't seem right. So I just started just doing a foot apart. Yeah. Yeah, that should be fun. All right, let's go butcher a pig. <laughs> Got our corn done. Corn is completely planted. Now let's look and see what else we can put out here real quick. I do have some squash plants that I purchased in town. I'm going to go ahead and put those over by the pigs and those will be for the pigs to enjoy. So as they produce, we'll just go ahead and throw it over for them. I am going to plant some seeds though for our, for our, for ourselves to enjoy. And let's go take a look and see what else I got in there. I'm going to go ahead and plant right now. All right, friends. So we are done for today. I was able to get some okra planted. I got my squash and zucchini planted. I also put in some broccoli. The broccoli was already growing, so that already has a head start. And plus my tomatoes, my peppers, and my carrots. Finally, I've got more planted in this garden. <sighs> so tomorrow I'm gonna figure out what else we're gonna plant because we still have quite a bit of this garden left to go ahead and plant in. So I'm going to look at this tonight and see what I'm going to go ahead and put out tomorrow. All right, friends. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I got a lot done. We processed some chickens. We checked on the bees and we also got planting in the big garden. So until next time, friends, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. As always, I hope all is well and have a blessed day.